Here we go, Andrew fans, with another Cool Loser Tech video. Today's segment is going to be on the launcher called Go Launcher. Many of you guys ask me, how did I get these widgets, these icons, these animations that come with my home screen? Well, it is Go Launcher. Go Launcher is my best, newest home replacement. I used to have ADW for years, and with Go Launcher EX, it allows you to theme out your phone, and this is one of the many animations you can get while you scroll. You see that? You get the inside box look, and you can see the background moves as a screen scroll. Really great. Now you can add gestures. If you want to swipe up, you get your application. Now you see the animation that just went pop up, pop down. Other launchers do the same thing, but Go Launcher is absolutely the best, in my opinion, and actually saves me battery and works flawlessly without any forced close for my Nexus 1. Down here, you have a scrollable dock that has up to 15 that you can put. There's 5, 10, and 15. So you get all those to scroll through. And you can see that they're always going to be dedicated on the screen. Now, how do I set this stuff? I will show you in a little bit. So let's go into my apps. And you will see in the app drawer, there is all my recent applications that I've launched and all my running applications. This is all included in the Go Launcher EX. And if you can see, they have little locks on them. Those are the ones that I do not want to close. Yes, this means this is a task manager, task killer. So I can close applications that are running instead of having a separate app just to end my applications. It takes a little bit longer to get to instead of having one click, you know, close applications. But it's a great one to have less apps and integrated with Go Launcher EX. All I gotta do is click on close all programs and it'll ask me attention programs will be closed. I'm okay with it. So whichever program was running it'll end from here. Now what if I don't want to end some of them? Just click on it. It says close, lock, go to or info. So you could actually just close that one or lock the application so that this one now won't be ended when I press close all applications. Great with that. And recent, you know you can just Obviously, hold the home button and it'll take you to your recent apps. But instead of doing that, you can just go to your recent and it has an even longer. You can even scroll through all your recent stuff. So it's either pointless or great for you guys. And you got your home button to go back to the screen and all applications. Now, this is not the end of it. So you see that? I can scroll through my apps and it gives me animation. This is awesome. I love Android because it's just so customizable. So you can create folders inside this app drawer. Check it out. I have these applications called unused. I named this file and put unused and these are the applications that I never use that are system apps that I don't want to undelete or you know take them off even though I'm rooted. I just keep them in this folder so that it's less cluttered in here. Now they do come in order. You can set them in alphabetical and frequent use and everything. If you guys are familiar with iPhone and wish that Android was more like iPhone, guess what? There's always that possibility to make it work that way. Hold down on an application and you will see it just shows an animation of the icons moving around. So it lets you know that you selected. Let's uninstall an application. Click on X. Uninstall Hulu Plus. Okay. Simple. Done. No more. No longer. It is in my applications. Real great, guys. Check that out. It's just completely simple uninstall the applications within the app drawer and you could actually rearrange these. Let's say I don't want this latitude to be there, hold it down and drag it. Check it out. I can drag it up here, put it up there, or put it back into another side and you will see that it just switched sides. So I'm not going to move it around, I'm just going to put it back where it was, hopefully it was there. Oh, and what I just did is created a folder. A perfect example, good thing that happened because I would have forgot about it. Because I dragged this folder into one of them, they combined and made a clutter of applications. So now I have a folder. If you wish to remove it from here, just hold down on it and drag it back down. And there we go. We can move them out. Now to delete the folder, click down, click on it, press delete, and press OK. And that folder is deleted. The theme that I have on right now is called touch whiz just the Samsung touch whiz type is that feel of it too as you can notice icons or looks to it and uh, how do I change themes once you download go launcher EX you will press menu and you will click on preferences preferences comes here it says theme settings my theme and it'll take you to this little place where it says my themes and you will see that these are the themes that I already got and there's touch whiz there's a D sugar and then there's a few other ones that kind of come stock. But you can keep getting more themes off the Android market or off the Go store that they have going on. 
So if I want to change the theme, this is where I want to go. If I download the theme, this is where I want to go. You have to download the theme that you want and always come here to change it. A lot of people don't know that this is where you have to come to change the theme. So let's let's change this. Let's do an apply. And it's really quick and simple and you'll see it there. Done. Go to home. And there we have it. New theme, new look to it, new icons. And I bring it up and you will see the look of this one now. And there's my running app. So let's close these apps. And you will see now I got way less. Go all applications. And it's just around the same thing. So you see that. And now in the app settings, if you click on many, you will see it says sorting, new folder, hide app, or settings. You go to settings, you will see that you can tab row, app icon labels, it's page by page. And you want to keep it on horizontal page by page because that is where you'll get the animations to do this. How do I change that? How do I set that? It doesn't come stock, so you're going to have to set that up. Get out of here. We are back to the touch whiz. Let's go into the settings of Go Launcher EX. Press menu, go to preferences. When you're in preferences, you'll see the themes and settings. So instead of having the wallpaper that it comes with, you can change it by pushing set wallpaper. You can change just the icons. And here we have the dock. What style do you want? You can change the dock there. Dock background, same thing, and app drawer background, which is the background of the apps which you pop up. Screen settings, icon enables, wallpaper scrolling is the, what you want to allow to allow the effect that makes your background move around just like this. And screen transition effect, screen indicator, which allows you to see these little up buttons right there. Let me see if I can show you. See those little very top ones? Those ones up there, those are the, letting you know which screen you're on. It's numbered. Auto hide, which means as soon as you move your screen, instead of having the docs always there, you can have them hide away. Three dock row, which is uh, five per dock. Like I said, there was 15. Now, to get the animations that you see on my phone, all that good stuff, you want to go to effects and settings. Desk transition effect, which is the cube inside. As you can see there, if you have it a random, it'll keep doing random things so that's pretty cool if you want to have it that way but you just want to have one look to it then you want to select only one there's around 10 transition effects that you can choose from and I have the cube inside look and you can change them to let me just have it on random and show you what other stuff that it can do that's the outside cube and there's the hide page away and there's a quicker way to disappear you can see that it has a whole bunch of different effects that you can go to it effects and settings I love the inside look exit transition as in the app drawer you saw how when I pop up my applications my app drawer this is where I want to go to change that there's not too many five animations to choose from and I have in a windmill which means it spins up to go or zoom flip or the TV effect like having it turn off and on let's look let's take a look at that See ya. It turns on like a TV and disappears like a TV. Now I can affect. Now this is where you would want to come to check out what animations your app drawer does when you scroll through your apps. Pop that up and you will see. Check that out. Scramble, circle, back into it. How about this one? Flips through them. Look at that. Blinds. So it's really cool to have. It's really nice to have those animations when people don't know about this and they're like, whoa, how'd you do that? It just makes Android such a great experience to have with all these customizations that you can do with it. You can also do the pinch to zoom and it's super easy to rearrange your stuff. Just hold down. If you want this to be your home page over this side, you can move a whole page real simple. Let's add another home screen. Check it out. I already have all those home screens now put up and I don't want them. So I'm just going to delete them off here and look how quickly and simple that was. And to also set up applications onto your home screen, let's hold down Google Goggles and let's move to the screen. And you will see that I get the four squares of where I want it. Let me set it right here. And it just brought me right to where I was. Really great. And you can, you know, select it and you will get options right there that says replace, rename it, delete or uninstall. So you can do that stuff from there. And I don't want it no more. So. I can press delete or just press delete from right there and drag it down.
setting gestures. I got one to swipe up, which is opening my apps. What swipe down? Open up my emails so I can answer and read everyone's emails that comes in. And this is where I'll get notified. And you can see I got comments and messages from Twitter, Facebook, Google+, YouTube. I'll get them all. And I get notified and it tells me how many I got new ones. This is just the email client app that comes with our Android phone, so it's not nothing, it's not a special app or anything. Wait, now how do you set that? Let's go to preferences. You want to go to operation settings. Here you can select screen rotation. So if you want to look at it landscape mode, you can. And I just switched it to landscape mode, so now I can navigate and do my stuff landscape mode really cool many of you guys have asked how do you do that how do you do this this is how you would do it so that I can use it whichever way that I want to and here's the home key action which says what happens when you press the home button and you can choose what action you want it to do glide up action choose what you want it to do and I have it set for show app drawer. Slide down is, you know, I have it so for an application there. Advanced settings. If you're having problems with your phone, like forecloses or freezes, you might want to click on this button right here, system persistent, so it doesn't run, um, have problems. Prevent force close, so if you have task killers, it doesn't end your home launcher. Clean rubbish data, you know, to check overlapping shortcuts or widgets or all the stuff that's not being used right there. I scan the font or change the whole font settings of everything there. It's super great stuff. You can back up. This is no doubt the best home screen launcher replacement for any Android device. Runs smooth, doesn't use up as much battery as the other ones consume. The themes are great. They have so many widgets. They have so many apps for your phone to customize with everything Go if you are a big fan of Go. Best of all, you do not need to be rooted. You guys are going to definitely enjoy your phone much more and you'll keep enjoying more as long as you watch the Cool Loser Tech Show. And here's my birdie, Magwai. Magwai like the gremlin. And his picture is right here. Magwai says rate, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, Google Plus, and Facebook. And don't forget to spread the word. Thank you for joining guys and I'll see you guys next time.